It's the day before we start our six-day bike tour through the Puglia region of Italy. We are staying in a Trulli building in the town of Alberobello. These are Trulli's. All right, so we're moving into our little Trulli. We got this chain curtain at the entryway. It's got a really cute kitchen and some decorations. And you walk into the next room, you get the bedroom, and then the bathroom. It was a cool design having the bathroom and bedroom connected by this upper window. The doors are cool. Yeah, they are. Yeah, like a window that you can shut in the door. I really like this truck that was parked outside of our place. It was an Ape 50, fully equipped with handlebars. Time for some snacks. We decided to sample some meats, and then afterwards, some cheeses. So this looks like a Telegio. This like is a very stinky, uh, stinky, funky cheese, but delicious. Okay. Usually a softer cheese. Stinky, funky. This looks like a firmer cheese. I don't really know what it is. It looks this... kind of manchay. After our snacks, we met up with the Puglia Cycle Tours guy. He was delivering our bikes that we were renting for the next six days. We decided to go walk around town, but first we were going to check out where our breakfast was held, which happened to be in the wine bar. It was pretty cool down here. The stairs were really steep, but once you got down, it was a nice atmosphere. There was a line of souvenir shops down this hill, leading us right to the town center. Here you could find a lot of restaurants and a lot of common Swifts. <laughs> there truly are a lot of truly in... Tra Trademark. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we found a good lookout where you can see the whole town. The common Swifts are digging it too. There's probably, what, a thousand of them surrounding us? There's a lot. There's a lot of them. This is a cool looking fountain, though it only looked half turned on. The way these trees were pruned definitely grabbed your eyes. We had ventured into the center to realize that the center had been pruned out too, and another fountain filled with fish. Pretty cool how there's a sundial up there on the side of the building. We found a European four-wheeler. I've never seen anything like this before. It was like a cross between a four-wheeler and a scooter. Fully equipped with a Vespa carrying case on the back. I, know. I, I think I've seen a Grand Tour or yeah, a, yeah, like a like a Top Gear thing. Top Gear, these. where they took these out. It has an inclinometer. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's awesome. This thing is sweet. We found a Fiat Panda 4x4, which is pretty sweet. I've never seen one in the wild. I've only seen one on TV. This is a Multipla. It might be the ugliest car I've ever seen. We kept adventuring through town. More cool buildings and pretty flowers. <laughs> we're, we're trying to beat the thunderstorm to the pizza place. And uh, it's starting to rain pretty good. The roads and pathways were super slippery when they got All wet. Alright, go. Made it. Wow. It was a beautiful day out the next morning, which is good, because we we're going to spend all day on bikes. The Puglia Cycle Tours group gave us these navigation systems. It made the trip really easy. Mine just buzzed. I am navigating. Continue riding. <laughs> We saw some really great countryside on the first 5k or so. Just pedaling amongst the olives. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the colors on this thing. It does have some cool colors. So we've been seeing these lizards dive off the road in front of us. And then we finally found one that's been dead so we can inspect its colors and what it looks like closely. We were surprised to see palm trees here. Oh, 
What the hell? Centipede man. This was such a small car and very symmetrical. It definitely doesn't rotate in the center so that you can drive it forward and back, but it's so symmetrical from the outside that it looks like you could. Soon after a busy street, we found ourselves on a really quiet walk. We stopped outside the church to watch a ceremony. And soon after that, we grabbed a snack and a drink. So we just turned off the road and uh, we're now on the aqueduct trail, which apparently goes for some 20 kilometers. I like the little lizard gecko dudes on the rocks. As you're riding by, they kind of scurry away as fast as they can into the holes of the rock wall. I think we're now finding out that this is more of a, an access road alongside of the uh, aqueduct. We just entered Le Corondito. No. <laughs> what is it? I think it's Le Corotondo. We just entered Le Corotondo. And there are these pretty cool bike lanes painted green on the sidewalks and red crossing the street. It's a nice uh, change up from sharing the road with the cars. Tristan keeps trying to correct me when I pronunciate this town's name. We're having troubles over here. We're, how to say this town's name is La Corotondo. La Corotondo. I've been saying La Cocorondito. <laughs> Which is definitely not right. La Cocorondito. La Cocorondito. We got to the back side of the town and we found a really awesome overlook. You could see really far from here. There's like pretty cool three wheeled trucks that are meant for, uh, they're like mini food trucks. Double the kitchen and double the supplies. This meal was so tasty. I mean, we could order another plate of them. We found some really cool cars on the outskirts of town. I feel like I should make a Cars of Italy video. That's such an awesome car. Go like stand behind it. Yeah, for, for scale. I mean, I'm up on the curb, but. The first day of riding was a lot of fun. Tomorrow, we ride to Monopoly.